I think I needed a minute. I guess I just needed a minute. I needed a minute so my brain can filter and realize what's going on around me. I needed a minute so I can realize that this is not her get our charm anymore. I needed a minute just to understand and to realize that obviously this is her get right now. Her get is no longer that way. Now it's literally just like that. I guess if they made something like a job advertisement in some of the hotels, I think they're not gonna require someone who can speak several languages at the same time. I think they're gonna require someone who can speak only Arabic. Obviously, you cannot compare the external tourism with the internal tourism from the perspective of income, like the amount of money that you got before from Europe. And if you, if you wanna compare it with the money that you're getting right now as an income from the internal tourism, obviously, it doesn't make any sense to me. There's no comparing. I'm really sorry to say that about we all have to confess that we're living in a very embarrassing time right now. Whatever happens, Egyptians are not, are not like Caribbeans. I think there's a big difference in treating everything, swimming and getting into the beach. I think everything's different. Like, like, for sure I cannot describe it by words, but I think the pictures are gonna show you everything I wanna say. But if you thought deeply about it, this is no longer the fault of Egypt. If you just concentrated on it from the political scope, I think it has nothing to do with the safety in Egypt anymore. I think it's kind of conspiracy. I can tell you that the situation right now in Turkey is way more dangerous than Egypt, but despite that, tourism is very stable. I'm really wondering how come a country has this beauty and the state of tourism in it is very down like that. But to be honest, I don't feel angry anymore. Like, it's totally out of my control, so I got nothing to do with it. It's such a situation that I have to let it go. So I just made an important decision and I want to share it with you guys. I think... Um, I'm not gonna make any videos about tourism once again. I think that will be my last video ever about tourism. So I just really, I thought about it one more time and I just thought like, it's out of my control totally. It, it has nothing to do with tourism generally because it has something to do with policy. It's some kind of policy between some countries and some other countries. And uh, for sure, I don't have to mention all the details, but I think you guys understand what I mean exactly. So me filming some videos about the tourism attractions in Egypt and advising people outside to come and visit the country, I think it's not useful at all. So that will be my last one ever. And, uh, you're gonna find some of my best tourist, touristic videos in the next couple of minutes, so I hope you guys like it. And wait for my next video, I think it'll be a little bit different, so I will return back to my random kind of videos, and uh, there's no inspiration about tourism anymore. So, wait for my next video, and I hope you guys like it. There are two kinds of tourism in Egypt. If you are the one who likes to enjoy the sun, the sea, diving and snorkeling. Or if you are the one who is looking for the information, history, the secret of the civilization of 7,000 years. Egypt is the perfect place for you to spend your vacation alone with friends or with your family. If you are planning to go to Cairo and Giza to see the pyramids, you made the right choice, sir. You'll get totally fascinated. You can stay also at Mina House Hotel. It's a fantastic place right next to the pyramids. Condor Cairo, Grand Hyatt. If you are planning to go and enjoy the sea, get some tan, enjoy the sun and forget about freezing. You got her get a and travel shake. In Hargada, I recommend you Steigenberg Hotel, Sadwing Water Roll the Makati, Sunrise Mamluk, El Marriott Hargada. And finally, Charmache. You can start with Best of the Best, Sensatory Coral Sea Charmache, Holiday Village, Magic Life. Worlds away from, from Cairo, and like that, you feel completely safe here. There's, uh, everyone's incredibly friendly. Yeah, whatever you want to do, everything is possible. Of course, um, people are so friendly, everything is organized. Um, um, I feel perfectly safe here. Uh, I think the particular here is, is fantastic. The diving is fantastic. So, come and visit each other. I assure you, you're gonna have me like never before. At Egypt in general. Egypt's safe. Come and visit Egypt.